I should put a context. I'm here as part of the African Chief Justices uh, from 10 countries. I represent my Chief Justice from Tanzania. We are part of the delegation which had some uh, meetings in Arusha as a prelude to, uh, to participation in the Justice Week here for a working visit. My colleagues presently are in the uh, International Court of Justice for a working session. Uh, last week, we had an opportunity of having discussions on this important topic within the, con uh, the context of collaborative approach between the judiciary and uh, the civil society. And uh, we were particularly looking at how, uh, what opportunities uh, are there for us to implement for the sake of ensuring uh, access for justice for all. Now, at, at this meeting, actually, uh, we, we deliberated that no more dialogue except when it is necessary. But what we want is action. But uh, we also noted that we cannot operate in silos. The justice sector has to, 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 to work in tandem with the other sectors of, the, of any particular jurisdiction. Uh, let me put a personal perspective to the topic that we are discussing. Uh, um, as a justice of appeal in, in my country, I'm living a dream which I had from my childhood. I wanted to be a servant of justice. And uh, at the time I was doing my LLB, the only university, the University of Dar es Salaam, was the only university where you can do your law degree. So uh, I had to have good grades to be admitted to that university. Fortunately, I had very good grades. I was admitted. I did my LLB. And then uh, in 1993, I graduated and I became a resident magistrate. When all that you have is a hammer, you think that everything around you is a nail. So I, when I was deployed at my first station, uh, I, I, I looked at uh, the possibility of getting myself, uh, prove myself as a, as, as, as a consummate servant of justice. But I couldn't. There were many justice challenges. For example, space was not there, office space. We had to share uh, chambers. Uh, apart from sharing chambers, there are things Simple facilities were missing, stationary was not there, etc. Now I'm talking about a, a courthouse I was working, which was in an urban area. Now look, uh, I'm not talking about uh, uh, a place, what I can call a hard to reach area, where a Land Rover cannot even take you there. You go by a Land Rover to a point where you have maybe to take a motorbike, and then to a point where you have to take a canoe to go across a river. And then at some point you have to take a walk to reach uh, you, a, a particular community. In that community, formal justice system does not serve them. What serves them are informal justice arrangements. So this is what happened, what existed at the time, but it is also what largely exists in, uh, presently. Although I must say, we have made huge strides in improving our just delivery system in Tanzania. But I'm still uh, thinking of these, I can call hard to reach areas, because Tanzania is a country which is 23 times the size of the Netherlands. 23 times the size of the Netherlands. So uh, my inspiration, my motivation, is to ensure that uh, uh, justice is delivered, not for those who live in the urban areas, but those who live in the hard to reach areas. Now from our deliberations in Arusha, we noted that uh, a people-centered approach to justice is one that understands people's justice needs. It requires collaboration and coordination between key stakeholders and uh, 
By that way, we will ensure justice for all. But the, the key part of the stakeholders that we always do not engage are the young people. We, we try to engage the civil society. In my country, we implement what we call citizen-centric uh, justice reform program. In this uh, citizen-centric reform program, we have three pillars. One of the pillars, actually the third pillar, is, is about stakeholder engagement and inclusiveness. But uh, invariably, when we talk of inclusiveness, we, 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 we forget the young. We forget the young. There are some interventions that we have done. I believe I'll get an uh, uh, some moment to talk about them later, like the, the, the how we can use informal justice delivery system to improve our situation and uh, the use of paralegals because advocates are very expensive in my country and there are few. Those are some of the interventions. But I think the most important thing is that we continue the dialogue at the same time taking action. So I would welcome an opportunity to engage with the young and the passionate colleagues who are here and, and those who are uh, uh, in, in uh, online. Thank you.